Hey everyone, this is Elaine and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you just three little journals that I have done and they are all for the most part out of scrap or things that I've done. Um, they may be from some digitals that I had left over. Um, a lot of these are um, like maybe pieces that I've been given. Um, as you know, I host a retreat for junk journaling twice a year. And then I also host um, or co-host a retreat for four times a year, um, kind of all crafters. And anyhow, so we kind of do swaps and people save me things and stuff like that. So let's get started here. The cover is from a composition book that I have cut down to be the size of one of our standard pieces of paper. Now, this is a digital, and I just like to put something on the inside cover if I can, and it's, you know, not necessarily what you have to do, but when it's a when it's something like this a composition book it's going to have um, an ugly inside cover that i didn't want to keep and these are just some digitals and this i printed the digitals two-sided here is a book page and as you can see it's been pieced together made my own hinge that's important when you want your book page to go this way and not sideways and then this was a digital that was a full piece of paper and i resized it that it could fit in here. Um, this is a digital. I know this one is from Sweet Pea Curiosities. I have been on her design team. And then here we go. These are just a few more digitals. Now this is some of my old blueprints. And excuse me, my computer's decided that it wants to do all kinds of updates. And uh, anyway, so then this, this right here, I apologize for that. I didn't realize it until it was in the book, but it, of the world back in 1971. Um, anyhow, so here we go. And then this was um, some stationary paper. I think it might have been like the kind you use for um, for um, invitations and such like that. And let's see if I can finally, maybe, it keeps saying not responding. I hope this whole video is recording. And now this is a snippet roll that a friend of mine took a whole calculator tape. And that calculator tape went from being this big to probably about this big. She not only layered it with paper, I think she went once, twice. She also did three different stitches on it. So you think about that. That was one layer of paper, two layers of paper, three stitch, four stitch, five stitch. That means she went over that calculator tape five different times. And here's a little tag that I put together. And then that is um, a digital, I think, of wallpaper. And then just another book. And here's another Sweet Pea Curiosities um, digital. This is some of my coffee stained paper that I just love. And then out of a book. And this was some paper that I tried to do with old watered down paint. Um, let's see if you can see it a little bit better here. And I like to play like that sometimes, but it's a good place to write. Here's a digital, some music pieces, pages. And then again, just a scrap piece of lace that I dug out of a bowl somewhere. <laughs> um, and then again, some digitals. And then, of course, the opposite side of every one of those um, pieces. Okay, so we'll go through that real fast. And I didn't necessarily do a whole lot of embellishing. I have found myself that if I'm going to put something out there to be sold, and here's a coffee filter, I have found that people really like to play in it themselves. And, and, and do some things themselves, whether they use it to write or they use it as a little photo album or whatever. So here's another digital and then this is a, um, a card. And again, this is all scraps that somebody has given to me. Um, and then here's a digital and then these are digitals too. 
some more sweet pea curiosity paper um, I was thinking that I had made this into a pocket but then again maybe not maybe just a place to write if I didn't shame on me um, and then some more of that um, snippet roll and then that's a digital from sweet pea curiosities here's kind of here's a pocket um, then just some plate paper again this was a blueprint and kind of the same thing and you know you end up having some digitals that you've printed out here's some more of my coffee stained paper this one I guess is kind of pretty much the same as the last one just in different order with some different papers now here I took a book page and actually put it through the printer with a digital and I'd like to do that I think that adds a special little touch this was a digital that I did two-sided and and then this was um, I think these were sweet pea curiosity tickets that I just did along the side as a little fun thing here is a pocket in the book page and my coffee stained paper now, and this was a boo-boo you can see that went through the printer but why do we care we don't need to waste it and let's go here real quick and here a pocket see some of them I remember to do pockets <laughs> you've been there I'm sure where you think that you got this bright idea and then you go ahead and you stitch everything up <clears throat> and yeah a lot of digitals in here and then a little tuck thing and this was a little book page and it talked about a couple different birdies okay and then this is the final one that I did again these are all just one signature now this is a piece of upholstery fabric and it came this way you can see where it's been stitched around it came this size I just folded it in half and and going to use it as a little pocket it's not really all that thick so that was nice and I do plan on using those some more they kind of come in some wild colors and stuff though so there's some more of my blueprints some digitals and I'm sorry my phone is going crazy here um, and this is one of my coffee stained papers that didn't actually do the best but that's okay it's still a good place to write or stick something up there um, another painted piece of paper some more book page um, this was a digital that um, I think this one I just found online it had no copyright and uh, I did this on an old form from work this was some marbly paper that came that way again out of that cookbook and there's my center piece and then again just the other half to everything and uh, I don't know I just had I had fun with this and these are just cute little things and um, these I do plan on selling we're having a yard sale um, in the next town over and I've been trying to think of some things I can do so I am going to just do these little journals and I said I better get a video up beforehand um, anyway so that's it and I appreciate you watching and uh, I will um, be doing some more videos. I have a couple more of these that I've done in a different style that I like. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll come back in a little while and, and show you that. But remember, if I'm going to put up a video, I'm going to do it on Tuesday evening. I used to do it every Tuesday, but things are going crazy. i got a lot going on. But you can find me on Facebook. I'm, I have a group. I have a page. I have my private Facebook I also have um, the retreat group with my buddy Lori and that's called crafting and chatting no G's um, with Lori and Elaine I'm also on Instagram Twitter and Pinterest and I do have a small Etsy shop with a few things in it so with that being said you behave and I'll catch you going down the road bye